Welcome to this Wow Review Spoken Tutorial on DWC, an open source chemical process simulator. My name is Kannan Modgalya. In this tutorial, we will learn to install DWSIM, get introduced to DWSIM, get a glimpse of DWSIM spoken tutorials that are already available, learn about all possible help available for DWSIM. Almost any operating system will work, but I am recording this tutorial in Windows 7. What is simulation? Study of a physical system with a mathematical model and a computer solution to this model. Simulation helps predict the behavior of the physical system. It is inexpensive, safe and fast. It eliminates the need to do these studies on the real system. Indian space missions are economical and done in a relatively short time. One important reason is simulation. Reliance Jamnagar was the world's largest single stream refinery when started. Put up in a short time, once again, thanks to simulation. There are many commercial process simulators. A few general purpose simulators are listed here. What is DWSIM? It is a state of the art process simulator. Open source software. Absolutely free. Developed by Daniel, thermodynamic support by Gregor, used all over the world. I will now explain how to install DWSIM in Windows 7. Go to the link shown here. I am already at this link. Click the download button. I have already done this. I got this file. It is in the downloads directory. Here it is. The name of this file could be different depending on its version. Right click, run as an administrator. Click next. Click I agree. You want both Chemsep and C++ libraries. Check both boxes. Keep pressing enter and DWSIM gets installed. Using this procedure, I have already installed DWSIM. So, I will cancel this installation process. Click Yes. Let me minimize this window. I can open DWSIM by double clicking its icon from the desktop. I have already opened DWSIM here. You can see a lot of menus and exciting capability. DWSIM has a wonderful help facility. You can invoke it by pressing F1. Let me press F1. I get this help page. It has a lot of information. Let me press simulation objects. Let me press unit operations. Let me double click on separator. It has given me this page. It has a lot of information on separator. Let me minimize this window. Let me go to the slide. Let me point out some advantages of DWC. It is completely free. It has excellent thermodynamics and solvers. The entire source code is available to everyone. Manuals of DWSIM explain every calculation. Commercial simulators keep these confidential. The user can introduce models, compounds and thermodynamics. One can also use DWSIM's thermodynamic library with other programs. We have excellent spoken tutorials on DWSIM. We will begin with the creation of material streams in DWSIM. I have already downloaded all the spoken tutorials. I will play them one by one. Let me play this. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on creating a material stream in DWSIM. The next tutorial is an introduction to flow sheeting. This constructs a simple flow sheet with a flash and a mixer. Let us listen to it. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on introduction to flow sheeting in DWSIM. The next 
tutorial explains how to simulate a distillation column through shortcut. Let us listen to it. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on simulating a shortcut distillation column in DWSIM. The next tutorial explains how to carry out rigorous distillation calculations. The starting point for this is shortcut distillation. Let us listen to it. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on simulating a rigorous distillation column in DWSIM. The final tutorial I plan to show explains how to do sensitivity analysis. Helps do a sensitivity study of some variables on other variables. The adjust operation does the same thing automatically. Welcome to this spoken tutorial on DWSIM. In this tutorial, we will learn how to do sensitivity analysis and adjust. Here is a summary of the tutorials we just saw. Using DWSIM, one can quickly find solutions to flow sheeting problems. Carry out what-if studies. Identify bottlenecks and ways to increase the throughput. Students will find DWSIM extremely useful. It will help them understand the concepts well. Their expertise will help improve profits in industry. They will get a lot more core engineering jobs. It is also useful to those students who want to start a consulting company. You may think that because it is an open source software, no help is available. Is this true? It is not at all true. A lot of help is available to the users of DWSIM. I will explain them one by one. We have spoken tutorial forum. Go to this link. I have already opened it. Use the horizontal scroll. You can also click the button view all previous questions. You may be interested in only one software at a given time. Click the lens next to it. Let me show the questions on Python for example. Remember, you need not log in to see the earlier discussion. You may also post a new question by clicking Ask Question. It is next to Login. Let me click it. You have to log in to post a question. If you have not registered, you need to do it once. I have already registered in this site. Let me click this and log in. I have to select a category. Let me choose DWC. Suppose that you have a question in the flow sheeting tutorial. Choose the tutorial as introduction to flow sheeting. Suppose this question comes at 3 minutes 35 seconds. Choose minute as 3 to 4. Choose second as 30 to 40. Write your question here and submit it using this green button. Let me go to the next slide. What if you have a general question, not from a spoken tutorial? So it does not have minute and second. For example, it may be for a new problem you try to solve using DWC. For this, we have another forum led by the FOSSE group. Let us go there. Choose a category from the horizontally scrolling menu. You may view previous questions. Let me click this. Let us, for example, see the discussion on FOSSE laptop. You may see the discussion on printers, for example. You may also ask any question on DWC. Let me click the link, ask question. If you want to do this, you have to log in. But you have to register first. Let us go to a different type of available help. We have a facility called Textbook Companions. It gives DWSIM solution to solve problems from standard textbooks. It is available at this link. Let me go to FOSSE's DWSIM page. Let me click the link for Textbook Companion project. It takes me here. You can see an introduction to this project here. 
You can see completed DWSIM textbook companions here. Next, look at this link. It is called Lab Migration Project. I will explain it in the next slide. We help migrate labs based on commercial simulators to DWC. We give honorarium and certificates to those who do this. For more details, please go through this link. I told you earlier that DWSIM is used worldwide. All these users and creators of DWSIM are ready to help you. We will see some of the help available from friends across the world. An excellent manual on unit operations is available. You get a copy of it when you install DWSIM. It is available in the Docs folder of DWSIM. The current version of DWSIM calls this Unit Ops and Utilities Guide. I have already opened it. Let us scroll down. Let us click the heat exchanger and see the calculations. You see the calculations here. Let me minimize this manual. Next slide talks about another manual. Locate properties manual in the same folder. In the current version, it is called the tech manual. I have already opened it. Let us see a description on how the fugacity calculation is implemented. Let me show one final help. It is a DWSIM discussion forum. I have given a link here. You can see previous discussions. You can post your questions also. You have to register for this. I am already at that page. Let me stop now. Let me summarize. We learned the following in this tutorial. How to install DWSIM. Saw the spoken tutorials available on DWSIM. Explained why you should use DWSIM. Help on projects available from Spoken Tutorial and FOSSE projects. Help on DWSIM from the worldwide community. I have 10 assignments for you. Install DWSIM on your machine. Check the DWSIM opens up. Explore the DWSIM interface. Go through every menu and button. Identify what all DWSIM can do. Practice the spoken tutorials shown earlier. For this, use the side-by-side -side method shown in this tutorial. Let me play this tutorial. Welcome to the spoken tutorial that explains the side-by-side -side method. Let me go to the next assignment. Go to the spoken tutorial discussion forum. Go through previous discussions. Ask a timed question based on a doubt you may have in a tutorial. Go to the FOSSE discussion forum. See the DWSIM discussion. Register, login and ask a question. Create a textbook companion for DWSIM. Help migrate your simulation lab to DWSIM. Go through the manuals that come with DWSIM. Go to the discussion forum of the DWSIM worldwide community. See the previous discussions. Register, log in and ask a question. Let me go to the final assignment. Open DWSIM and press F1. Explore the help facility. Also go through the tutorials available at this link. I forgot to mention this in the help section. This link will take you to this page. Let me go back to the slide. This video summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you may download and watch it. We conduct workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates. Please contact us. Spoken Tutorial and FOSSE projects are funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. Thanks for joining. Goodbye.